So, uh, first of all, I'm not going to speculate about the outcome of a uh, US presidential election. All I'm going to say is that Sweden uh, believes that uh, it is uh, um, um, critical to have the US on board and have a transatlantic link in order to guarantee the safety not only for Sweden but also for Europe. We look forward to cooperate with any administration uh, which is going to move into the White House uh, after the presidential election in November. Yes. And this is also something which we have communicated clearly to our Hungarian counterparts. Thank you. The decision to join NATO was taken in very, with very, very broad support in the Swedish parliament, and we still believe that there is no other organization that are capable of providing the degree of safety that we need in order to feel safe in the current political environment which we are living through in the world. Uh, I'm not going to review individual speeches by individual candidates in the US presiden uh, presidential campaign. And this is also something which we have communicated clearly to our Hungarian counterparts. Thank you. It's no news to anyone that from the American political system that have been, has been sent over the years and decades, repeated signals that all NATO member states should live up to the, um, the, the um, promise uh, of spending 2% of our overall GDP on defense. Now, Sweden backs this uh, as a NATO candidate country, and we will also live up to this. And this is also something which we have communicated clearly to our Hungarian counterparts. Thank you. Both Democratic and Republican presidents have repeated uh, the claim uh, and the expectation that NATO member states live up to the 2% uh, 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 spending. So uh, I think that this is justified, and Sweden, of course, uh, back this, this claim. We believe that it is right and proper. And as I said, it did, didn't really matter whether the president's name was Barack Obama or Donald Trump. This has always been on the table. David, are you still